just because you can't get to the golf course to play at the moment doesn't mean you can't engage with your golf, improve your skill and your technique. I'm going to show you today how to do that if you're in the garden or even if you're stuck indoors in the house with some more game changing golf coaching tips. Hi everyone and thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. My name's Natalie Adams. Today we're going to have a look at how to help you during this uh, kind of lockdown period that we're in and how you can practice whilst you're at home and still improve your golf game. And we're going to focus today on how to uh, chip better and pitch better. So let me go and get set up. You're going to need seven iron or your pitching wedge um, and you're going to need six other golf clubs. We're going to pop those golf clubs out. So from where you're going to ball we're going to put a stride then put a golf club down a stride put a golf club down until we've got them all out basically to create a sort of ladder look uh, at where you're going to pitch to and then I'll show you what we're going to do okay so uh, we've got our skill uh, out here um, I've got six golf balls and we've got one two three four five six sections that we're going to chip into so what we're going to do here is with the first ball we're going to get the ball to land in between the first and the second club in zone one there the second ball we want it to land between zo uh, in zone two so between the second and the third club and so on and then we can keep a score while we're doing that to see how we're progressing with it you can do this in different ways if you want to stay uh, just chipping into that first zone until you've got the ball into it that's absolutely fine but count up how many goes it took you to get it so the next time you try it your aim is to try to get lower number um, and ultimately you're trying to get there one but have a look at how you start off uh, and the score you get to start off with. It's all about getting the number of shots that you take lower, because that means your, your skill is improving. I'll put a link in um, here to a couple of other videos that I've done on how to actually chip. We'll just go through that very quickly, but if you have a look at the other videos, if you need to improve that strike, uh, this that will help you a lot, but this is all about getting that improved. If you don't have outdoor space, don't panic. I will, at the end of the video, uh, put something on that you can do indoors, again, to help you with that skill development. So if we go for ball number one here, we're looking to just narrow the stance down, uh, lead foot, so left foot for me as I'm right handed, just pull it back slightly, just so that it rotates my hips towards the, uh, the target. Really important that when you chip, you're turning your body and the turn of your body is pulling that lead for me, left arm through the shot. So this kind of action here, rather than this action here okay chipping uh, for strike is all about getting that low point in the correct spot so um, have a look at the the video uh, that I've put on the link to help you with that couple of things you could work on before you try this skill game if you're just struggling to strike crisply but another little tip I would give you here is if you just take another one of your clubs or take an alignment pole if you're going to play the ball, this is just for a standard chip in the middle of your feet. Just place that other club just outside your right foot. And then you can work on just pressure into that front foot a little bit so that you don't clip the club on the floor as you take the, your swing back and that you bump the ground as you swing through. But again, you don't hit that golf club on the right. It will really help you to improve and to crisp that shot up. Okay, so we're, all we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this, uh, this idea of just pulling the left foot back so that the hips are slightly rotated, the body is slightly rotated towards the target. We're gonna swing back. You will have your right hand on the club, but I'm just showing you this um, to help you see it a little bit more. You're gonna turn your body, and as you turn your body, the turn of your body pulls that arm through the shot there. 
okay and you're just going to clip the ground as you do that and we're going to work on seeing if we can get that ball six goes and into the six targets now this is really good because this will also help you uh, to stimulate the pressure that you would feel when you're on the course and you've only got one go at it especially as you're improving and you're starting to get closer to being able to do this but it's all about just start with a number it doesn't matter how many shots it takes you to complete this initially and then each day work on trying to get that improved even if it's just by one it's progress okay let's see what i can score playing this game Okay, so I'll give myself five and a half out of six. Um, I think shot number four, I just clipped the club. Um, so I'll give myself five and a half out of six for that. I'd work on that again until I don't clip any of the clubs. Um, but it really will help you to improve your distance control for where you land the ball. Now you can work on this with your seven iron because that would give you more of a bump and run. Uh, again, I'll put a link into the video here for how your seven iron uh, will work. But basically, if you land your seven iron, generally that should be about a quarter of the overall distance that that ball will travel if you're landing on the green. So if you can get good control of where you land the ball, you're going to be able to get a lot closer to that pin. Uh, pitching wedge, if you're using pitching wedge, again, that would generally be when it lands half the distance that the ball will travel. But it will depend on if you're playing the ball a bit more forward in your stance to get a higher trajectory, a bit further back in the stance to get a slightly lower trajectory. We're just going for standard here. I'll put another link in the video to show you how you can alter your trajectory control just by moving the ball forward and back and your hand position. But it's a great drill to get you going. Okay, let's go and have a look. If you're stuck inside, you haven't got any outdoor space, what you can do inside to improve. So for those of you who are based more inside at the moment, you haven't got any outdoor space, you can do exactly the same drill. Um, I'm doing it here in uh, my living room. I've got hardwood floors, so I'm just going to use the doormat that I'm going to chip off. Um, I've still set the clubs out. I've got three zones this way. If I moved the furniture around and went diagonally here, I could uh, probably get up to five zones in. Just put a cushion from the sofa at the far end so that um, when the ball, if the balls are bouncing down there, it's just going to um, deaden the impact. And also I've put a blanket or a throw onto the floor again, just so it deadens that impact. But I can still work on the same drill. We'll put a link in the video here for how to improve that low spot if you can't actually hit golf balls. Um, you can still work on your action and getting that low point in the right place.
Okay, so that will give you a little bit of structure to your practice. Really important to practice with a purpose. Don't just go chipping golf balls. Make sure that you have got structure to what you're trying to do, what you're trying to improve. So if it is that you're trying to strike the ball better, then obviously work on strike. If it is that you're going on to a skill game, then get better at that skill game. Have a scoring mechanism as we've done here in place. If you've got six zones, then you need to get you know, each zone hit within six shots. And then you can see your progress improving. Try not to practice the same distance all the time because when you're out on the golf course, you don't know what distance you're gonna get. So this is quite a good um, drill to help you with that so you, you you can cope with any chip you then get once you're back out on the golf course let me know how you get on with this please leave your comments and please remember if you do enjoy the video to click subscribe and the notification button so that you get notified every time we release another video they're all geared up to help you get better with your golf to get more out of your game and enjoy it more it's another game changing golf coaching tip Bye.